And what we have today did not happen by chance. Generations of leaders in government, religion, and community, like many of you here, have put in the hard work, the deliberate effort, to foster and nurture the religious harmony we enjoy today. There have been some comments made recently that religious leaders should not be included or involved in giving, sorry, should not be involved in giving guidance or advice on this issue. I am at a loss to understand why something this. This is not how we have the peace and harmony that we have today in Singapore. After 9-11, the then Mufti spoke. He condemned the terrorist attacks, emphasized that suicide bombings were against teachings of Islam. In 2014, in response to the escalation of violence in Gaza and the ISIS takeover of parts of Iraq at that time, the Archbishop of the Catholic Church in Singapore issued guidance on how to pray for the victims and for the region as a whole and on humanitarian financial aid. These are just two examples. So it is quite usual, indeed important, for religious leaders to weigh in on matters that concern people in their communities. We draw a line between religion and politics, but it is important that religious leaders give guidance to their communities on prayer, on assisting, on how they can help others in distress.